You wake up every day and you understand that it is a phenomenal life. How many of you saw the, the movie, uh, It's a Wonderful Life? It comes on this Christmas. You'll see it again. It comes on every Christmas. So here this Jimmy Stewart, the banker, is uh, about to jump off of a bridge because his business is messed up and doesn't realize he's got a guardian angel and he's got all these wonderful people that care about him. And not only that, he's made a huge difference in a lot of lives. Right? Remember that? It's a phenomenal life. Keep that in your mind every day. Don't live your life by circumstances. How many of you remember Helen Keller? Deb, dumb, and blind became an American legend, author, speaker. If she can do it, you can do it. Second secret is think and grow phenomenally successful. How many of you have read uh, Think and Grow Rich? And Think and Grow Rich, I don't agree with everything that's in that book, especially some of the later chapters gets kind of weird. You know, I'm a believer. But the thing is, one thing that you're going to get out of that book is how the subconscious mind works. The subconscious mind doesn't know the difference between truth and a lie. So if you set your mind on the truth and confess the truth and spend time thinking, John Maxwell says the biggest difference between successful people and unsuccessful people is how they think. And then he says, we can start by just thinking. Some people don't think. We just go through the motions, you know, right? How many of you find yourself doing that? You found yourself unconscious for a while, right? We're just going through life. No, every day you've got to set your thoughts. Secret number three is how to make phenomenal money. How many of you want to make phenomenal money? How much money is phenomenal? I got a student, Ruth, right here on the front row. The amount of money you're supposed to have is the amount of money you're supposed to have. Isn't that cool? You get to write a book to say that. <laughs> but it's true. You're created to be phenomenal, created to do phenomenal things, to have a phenomenal life. You have a unique fingerprint. So what's it going to take, what's it going to take money-wise to make that happen? you got to figure that out. That's phenomenal money. i got enough money to fulfill my life goal. You know that Jesus, who didn't own anything, there was money involved in the mission. Otherwise, Judas wouldn't have stole the money bag. People have said that it took a lot of money to keep Gandhi poor. Because the movement costs a lot of money. You see where I'm going with that? So you have a purpose, you have a mission in life, you have things that you need to do that are going to help you become a better person and, and do some phenomenal things in the world and bless some people. That's going to take money. How many of you know that it's not very much fun to be broke and not to be able to pay our bills. Been there, done that. Been there, done that. Thank you, Lord, for the wonderful people that God put around me to say, Howard, living on debt is not the way to go. Living on credit. If you got that issue, get a Dave Ramsey book. Get a Dave Ramsey book. Four secrets of a phenomenal business, which you guys are already learning. Marketing, sales, operations, administration, leadership. That's chapter four. Chapter five is your phenomenal body. Uh, four is secrets of a phenomenal business. And your name? Michael. Okay, Michael, you asked me for the secret a while ago of getting younger every day. I'm going to tell you the secret right now. Starts with a vision, starts with that dream, 
But how many of you know that sometimes before I get that picture, I got to be desperate? I lost 50 pounds. I was desperate. I don't like the way that I feel. My wife said, I think your hormones are off, and I'm from Alabama. I said, what's a hormone? <laughs> don't only women have those? Go get my hormones checked, certified nutritionist. She gives me an eating plan. That's a strategy. GPS, goal, purpose, strategy. That's a strategy. You can give me all the eating plans in the world, all the diets in the world, but I ain't going to do it unless I got a vision. So I went from desperation to inspiration and said, man, I could be phenomenal. God gave us a phenomenal body. We just got to get into it. But we got to have that vision of why. Why do I need to be healthy? Why do I need to be healthy? What's holding me back by not being healthy? Ryan Drahota is not here today. He's been in the inner circle for six months. And in the last six months, Ryan Drahota not only increased his income by 25%, but he lost 50 pounds. And the reason he's not here right now is he's running his first marathon. Give it up for Ryan Drahota. You know where it started? You know where it started? It started on the little wheel of life, going through the goals that we have on the Inner Circle website, going through the wheel of life, and that little spoke of physical got his attention. He said, I got to change. He was 240 pounds. He's 190 today, running his first marathon. It gets better. He said, in the last six months, I've gotten more done than the previous six years in business. How about that? Yeah. It's eating the right plan for your life, which only a professional can tell you what that is, and then whatever that exercise plan needs to be. We all know how to lose weight. We just don't do it. FTI. reason we don't do it is because we don't have the inspiring dream. Does that make sense? We've got to get the picture. And it doesn't come easy. We get off track. I got off track. I fired my uh, trainer. Got bored, fired my trainer. Guess what happened when I fired my trainer? I said, I ain't going back there. Called up pleading. Please come back. Secret number six is phenomenal family relationships. My good friend David Fry, internet marketing expert, stood on this stage right here and closed his presentation as he always does. No amount of business success can compensate for failure at home. No amount of business success can compensate for failure at home. You need support. That's part of your dream team. But how many of you know that I can't change anybody? You know, I got big dreams. I'm a big dreamer, and that's why I love teaching about dreams, because I've accomplished some dreams. I'm a big dreamer. I was standing in my, my uh, kitchen one day dreaming, dreaming big. I dream big. You ain't seen nothing yet. In fact, this was one of those kind of dreams where I had my hands up in the air, had my eyes closed. I was like, honey, I see this, 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 and this. I see us doing this, 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 and this. And you got to know my wife. She's standing there with her, her hands on her hips, tapping her foot. Said, I got a vision too. <laughs> got a vision of you clearing out that dishwasher right there. 